Welcome in this fifth and the last section of our course. In this section, we'll be trying to find similarity of words in a book using NLP with deep learning techniques. First step that we will need to do is to extract feature vector from the text data. So we will analyze textual data that we will want to fetch and extract features from it. Next step will be to load row sentences that will be an input for our NLP training. Once we will have that, we will leverage NLP constructs from Deep Learning for J API. The last thing that we will need to do is to find words based on the similarity. So we will try to answer a question, what is a most similar word to different word? So we will want to learn our machine learning model about the vocabulary available in textual data and then answer those questions. So this is a first video in which we'll be extracting feature vector from text data. First step will be to analyze raw textual data. So we'll analyze an input that will be used to build a vocabulary and to build feature vectors to our model. Second step will be to understand how to pass text data as feature vector to the model. So we'll be passing it using API or maybe different way. Final thing that we will need to do is to look at the simplest way of doing transformation from text to feature vectors. So we'll understand that the textual data cannot be served as a feature vector for our model. We need to transform it somehow to the feature vector of values numbers. This is crucial to understand. But first let's look at the raw textual data. So we are given some random sentences from book or forum or whatever do you want. You can replace it with your own sentences. What's important is that every line should be one sentence. So we can see that every line finished with the dot period. So this is the thing that our learning algorithm will learn about the data. And also we will see that there is quite much data. So to learn vocabulary about specific language in this example in English, we will need a lot of data. The more the better. If we will have couple sentences, it will won't work because there is no way that couple of sentences will have even substantial percentage of vocabulary in a specific language. It will not happen. So this is the way that we want to load. But let's see how to transform it. So let's consider very simple technique that depicts how to transform text data into a feature vector. So let's consider two sentences. First one is John likes watching movies. Mary likes movies too. So we have two sentences, but we want to treat them as the one because this is our unit of analyzing. So one line of text. Next line of text is John also likes watching football games. And let's say that we want to build a machine learning model based on those texts. We cannot just simply take them. We need to transform them to the vector of numbers. So the first step that we need to do is to extract sentences and words from those. So we are tokenizing input from all sentences and creating an array of tokens. So we can see that in the first element there will be John likes watching movies. Also, we don't have, as you can see, likes again because likes appeared once at this moment. Also, we have football, games, we have Mari and two. So we can still need to tokenize it and do the duplication of the data. So there could be no duplicates of data there. Once we will have that, we need to create a vector that has a size equal to the number of vocabulary found in the specific text that we are analyzing. So if you will calculate number of elements in the vector of words, we can see that there is John likes and so on. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then we need to create vector with size nine for every sentence in the corpus of our lines. This is important and also it is space not efficient because we will create vector with a lot of zeros because we can have smaller sentences and so on. The more vocabulary we have, the vector will be higher and more space will be wasted. But this is the simplest algorithm to understand that process. So then we are going through the first sentence and we will mark 
occurrence of the word increment encounter at the specific index. So John is at the index zero, and we can see that it, and it appears only once in the sentence number one, so we are setting it to one. Then likes appear twice, so we are incrementing it twice. Index one with this array will be two. Then watching movies appear once and once, so we are incrementing to one and one. And then we have some things in the vocabulary array that are not appearing in the first sentence. So we need to set it to zero, zero, zero. So we're wasting a lot of space, but we have that information. Then we are doing exactly the same for the same sentence. So John also likes one, one, one. Then we can see that movies doesn't appear in this specific sentence. So it will be marked with zero. Then we have also football games, one, one, one. Mary two doesn't appear so zeros. So this is the simplest method to transform it. And then we can use those vectors as an input to our machine learning models. So it can be great feature vector.